Okay, hello. I had to fix some um, some of the NFC West predictions, but nonetheless, for the final division, the uh, NFC uh, not South, the NFC East. Um, this is post Thursday night, so uh, the Bills have absolutely mollywopped uh, the Rams. This is uh it's technically Saturday, but it's it's Friday night. Um. I guess, I guess I got my prediction wrong. I'm like, damn. But I got it wrong. Um. Yeah. But anyway. Um. I don't know. That was bad. Like, that was, that was bad. But anyway. Um. Predictions. NFC East. The last, one, last, um. Group. Last team. Last division, whatever. I'm just gonna get into this shit. Uh, we'll start with the Cowboys just because I'm just going down the list. It's Cowboys, Eagles, Washington, and Giants. Um, this division fucking sucks, but like, only kind of. They like kind of suck, you know. Um, anyway, a uh, week one they play the Bucks. Uh, this is probably gonna be a tight game. It was last year. It was 29-31 last year. I remember that it was a very good game. I think it was 2931. Maybe it wasn't. But I know it was a two point game. I do remember that. A um, very good game last year, and everyone just thought the Cowboys would kind of kill it, and they didn't. I uh, they went on a winning streak after that. So, uh, I kind of see a similar thing happening this year. Um, their schedule, like all the NFC East, has pretty easy schedules. Just because the NFC East is pretty easy. Um, yeah. Anyway, but given that they play uh, the Bucks week one, uh, I still don't think that they're gonna beat the Bucks. But do I think both of the teams got weaker? But I don't know. Um, I think I think the what's it called? I think the Cowboys got weaker, where it's gonna hurt more, especially because this Bucks defense is probably gonna be top five. It's almost certainly going to be top five. Um, yeah, it's like almost a guarantee that it's top five, just because their, their defense is absolutely loaded with talent. The only thing I might be concerned about is their secondary, but it's worked the past two years. It's going to work again. Um, kind of. I mean, it cost them the NFC Championship or a trip to the NFC Championship, but nonetheless. Um. Yeah, but I think Dak is going to show why he doesn't necessarily need, you know, a top 101 and, and Amari Cooper. But I think that it's definitely going to be noticed, and that's why they're not going to win this game. Because ultimately, they lost two very, very good O-linemen, and now their O-line is kind of piss poor. Just because Tyron Smith is gone, and... Lyle Collins is also gone, so they're kind of fucked. And they're only other than that, it's kind of bad. Ow. So yeah, um, I don't think they really have a shot of beating the Bucks. But then I haven't beaten the uh, Bengals at a week two upset. Um, it's at home. Uh, they bounced back last year. Granted, it was versus the worst team. I don't remember who it was, but I, you know, it's not really a hot take to say it's the worst team. This team's going 13 to 4. I guarantee you. Actually, I know for a fact the team that they bounced back versus last year was not 13 and 4. Um, we're not gonna end 13 and 4. So yeah, um, it's gonna be a close one, but I think that I'm not necessarily the highest on the Bengals defense. I think it didn't really get much better, if it got better at all. Um. The Bengals defense is going to be good, but it's not going to be, like, more than above average unit. Like, their front seven is pretty... Like, Trey Hendrickson's good. And there's a couple other guys that are also good that I'm kind of blanking on. But it's not, like, you know, top five edge or pass rush or anything. Probably not even top ten pass rush. It's not, you know, something crazy that the Cowboys are like can't handle. Um... Especially because Dak's a veteran. 
kind of. I mean, not a long time veteran, but he's a veteran nonetheless. Um. Yeah, it's just like he knows how to maneuver around the pocket. He's really good at that. Um, and the only thing they could really and like I don't know. The uh the Cowboys defense is also still pretty good. I mean, it also got worse, but I think they're still a good enough team, and I think their offense is still going to be electric enough. That it's still going to be able to pull off upsets such as the Bengals. Um, it's at home. They just lost week one. Uh, the Bengals are playing the Steelers week one, so they kind of get a freebie. Um, I'm a Steelers fan, by the way. I'm saying this. Um, yeah, I think the Cowboys are not necessarily, you know, coached well enough to get upsets, but I think they're built around a team. I, I think they're built like a team that is capable of getting many upsets. Um, just because their offense is that electric, and they have playmakers on the defense that are, you know, going to make plays. Uh, Diggs being the biggest one, obviously. Uh, Diggs, but I mean, you also got, like, the X Factor and Michael Parsons. I mean, the dude's a fucking stud, bro. And uh, he's probably my pick for defensive player of the year. Probably. I don't know that, but probably. Um, but yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I just think the, uh, the Cowboys are built well enough uh, that even if they got worse, the Bengals are still a good team. But they're like... I don't. I don't think they're. I don't think they're running back to the Super Bowl. I'll tell you that right now. I don't think they're going back. I don't even know if they make it to the AFC Championship game. I don't know how the bracket ends up, but we'll determine that probably at the end. I don't know if I'm gonna do it in this video or the next. I'll we'll make a separate one. Probably gonna do it in the same one though. Just because it might be like a 15-20 minute. I mean, I guess 15-20 minute video is not actually that bad. I don't know. I'll figure it out when we get there. Depends on how long this is, really. Um, but yeah, after that week two bounce back versus the Bengals, they're not going to lose to the fucking Giants. The Giants are dog crap. Um, I don't know what this is. I don't know what this number is, but, uh, Giants are really bad. That's all I got to say. Uh, week four versus Washington. Washington's also kind of bad. Like, they're, they're fine, and they're going to do fine. But, uh, Carson wins my shit his pants when he sees Trayvon Diggs. And, you know, the Washington O-line, it's okay, but not great. <laughs> I don't know. The week five, I also have them upsetting the Rams. Yeah, I know. I know it sounds crazy. I know it sounds crazy, but hear me out. Um, I, I think the Rams are very prone to being upset. Just because they're la they're glaring weaknesses at certain positions. Um, their defense is still going to be a stud, but I think their offense is a little bit more questionable than people like to talk about. Uh, they don't really ha they're not very deep at wide receiver. Um, like they got their they got Cup, but as long as Diggs, I mean, as long as the, the uh, Cowboys secondary do an okay job versus him, primarily Diggs obviously, but other guys as well. As long as they can do an okay job. You don't, don't let him go for, like, 200 yards or some shit like that. Um, all you gotta do is guard Allen Robinson, who looked really, really bad in week one. Um, which, granted, this isn't really supposed to be from that, but I don't care. I, I've seen it, and I know what it looks like. So I'm not gonna just sit here and tell you, hey, I'm going to ignore that and pretend like Allen Robinson's good, when I know he's not. You know, it's kind of that situation. But anyway, um... Uh, Allen Robinson gets zero separation, and like, I'm moderately, I'm just more concerned about their wide receiver depth than I was like last year. Um, I don't know how long Robert Woods was out last year. How many games did he play last year? Bobby Trees, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, he played nine games. Um, I'm gonna open that up again. I see 
Because my thing with the Rams last year is if they made it work with not having Odell until the second half. But you also got to realize that. Hold on. I'm trying to find Robert Woods. Can I find his games? Can I, is that something I can look at? I don't know if I can look at that. Am I able to look at that? Whatever, I'll just do it the hard way. No, 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 no. I want to look at the, the box stats. Box score, thank you. Is Robert Woods doing anything? Do Uh, okay, so basically, what, I'm not even, I didn't even like just say what I was trying to figure out. I'm trying to figure out how. Um, did I drop Woods? So he was still there, and I guess he got injured. So I know he got injured last year. Yeah, week ten game. Okay, that's what I was trying to figure out. I could have just googled that shit. And it made it a lot easier. Um. The thing with the uh, Rams last year is they actually had pretty decent depth. Van Jefferson's fine. Robert Woods is fine. Uh, and then they got Odell in the second half. Uh, they had Cooper Cup, obviously. So, like, they kind of had stud receivers. Now they have Cooper Cup, obviously. Still going to be a stud. Uh, Van Jefferson's probably coming back eventually, I assume. But, nonetheless, he got injured. Uh, Robert Woods isn't there anymore. Uh, Allen Robinson was not getting any separation in week two uh, last week. Or in the game Thursday. Um, so they look really bad, basically. So I'm very concerned about that and how well the Rams can actually match the Cowboys' offense. Because I'm pretty certain this... And, then like, it, it, this, this Cowboys' run defense is going to be fine. And the, Cow the, the Rams' run game is already bad. So on top of a run defense, that's fine. On top of... Um... On top of the fact that the Rams just, like, aren't... I, I'm just concerned. I'm concerned about how well the Rams can match the offense here. Uh, and I'm very concerned about the Stafford interception problem. He led the league last year. He already has three this year. I'm very concerned about that. Um, and I think Diggs will make players on the ball. Uh, and, and the throws were Stafford's fault. Like, Josh Allen, I think, had... You know, I know he had two interceptions, but neither one of them were his fault. The first one, 100%, wasn't his fault. The second one, maybe was. So we'll get that one to him. But I'm just really concerned about, you know, accuracy. And Diggs will play off that accuracy problem. I will he get burnt? Hell yeah. But apparently so will Jalen Ramsey. So, I don't know. Uh, I think the Cowboys are pretty electric on offense. And even though they lost to Murray Cooper, I think they will be fine. Um, when does Michael Gallup come back? Yeah, it's the two weeks. First two weeks. At least the first two weeks. Come back in mid-October. Eh, close enough. He might be back for that game. I think if he's back for that game... They have enough playmakers on the offense, especially considered with the good run game. Tony Pollard, Pazik, still a pretty good run game. I, I think that the Cowboys could pull off a sneaky upset. But then they get destroyed by the Eagles uh, off to get off the hot streak. Uh, it's Eagles at home. Eagles are very good offensively. Um, My thing with the Eagles is that this team has everything that that you could need, really. Like, genuinely. They have, like, everything you could need. Good secondary, good pass rush. I mean, just good front seven in general. Immaculate run game, good passing weapons, and just good passing. Kind of a decent. It's a decent passing game. I just need to step up as a good passer, but um, I think this matchup is also pretty bad for the Cowboys, given that the Eagles are actually deep at wide receiver. Kind of, not really. I kind of forgot if they got rid of Rager, who's not good, but 
It's just depth things. I mean, no, they're pretty deep at receiver still. Their 1, 2, and 3 are still pretty good. I mean, the 1, 2 are definitely good. The 3 is a little bit meh, but for a 3, he's fine. I don't, I don't know. I think the Eagles are, are just, like, good everywhere, while the Cowboys are have a couple problems that are going to show here. Um, I, I think your, your Diggs guy... You know, I think Diggs is going to struggle a lot much, uh, a lot more than you might like because, you know, he has covered Devontae a Smith and A.J. Green. A.J. Green. I mean, A.J. Brown. Um, A.J. Brown. And I think A.J. Brown is very physical, which is something Diggs is meh, meh at. I don't know. I, I, I just don't really see the Eagles losing this, especially given it's a home. I know the Cowboys are on a hot streak, but they got to lose the streak eventually. Which, granted, they could have just lost it in Week 7 versus the Lions, but... Um... Yeah, I just think the Eagles are a little bit more electric for on offense than the Cowboys are. In, in this matchup, at least. Not, not in as a whole, I don't think so. But, I think, in this matchup, they're more electric. And I trust the Divas a lot more. Uh, the week seven, I have the Lions getting the upset win over the Cowboys. Um, I I don't remember why I picked the Lions honestly, but all right, I could change this. I guess I'll change this. Do I want to change this? I don't think so. I I, I like I, I while I don't think Jared Goff is very you know good, uh, I think he's fine. I think he's smart at the very least. Uh, he's played a while, you know. He may not be physically gifted, he's not mobile, doesn't have the strongest arm. A little bit of accuracy problems, but like... Yeah, the Lions are just deep at receiver, which is really good for him. Um, good run game as well. Well, okay, run game. It really just depends on how they play this year. Um, their defense is also improving. Uh, and the only thing I would be concerned about is that the Lions pass is getting better. And that's really scary, because the Cowboys' O-line is bad. Uh, or is getting very bad. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I just think the Cowboys are very prone to... They can beat anyone, but they can also lose to anybody. You know, they can keep it close versus Super Bowl contenders, but the next week, you know, lose to some random team that they shouldn't lose to. I mean, we literally saw it in you know, Week 1. They compete with the the Bucks. Um, you saw them beating good teams. I can't remember their schedule last year. But then they get blown out and shut out by the Broncos. Like, how? I, I think it's very prone. I think, as I you know mentioned a minute ago, uh, they can beat anyone, but they can also lose to anybody. And I think that's just a lot. You're gonna see that a lot this season. Um. And obviously, they're still going to struggle versus the better teams. But, you know, I don't know. I, I, I just feel like... I feel like it's going to be hard for the Cowboys. Because, you know... It's like, oh, hey, you know, it's the Cowboys. You know, they're not that bad. They're not always the fucking Lions. Well, you know... I think they can. Um... I think they're prone to getting upset. I think it's going to happen there. Week 7. I right, in week 8, they're finally going to bounce back versus the Bears because the Bears are ass. Then they get the bye week. And then week 10 versus the Packers. Um. I, I was thinking about changing it, but I don't think so. I, I, I like the weapons more. For the Cowboys, my uh, Gallup could be pretty much 100% healthy and back to normal form. Uh, they got CD. They have a good run game. While uh, Rogers, I think, will play fine. Uh, I just like... Well, the Packers might be deeper at wide receiver, honestly. But they're a lot less top-heavy, and I think it's going to be very hard for... Um, what's it called? I think it's going to be hard for the Cow uh, Packers offense here because, like, Diggs likes getting burnt by good receivers, right? But there's not really, you know, a good wide receiver one here. Like, 
their one right now, I think, is technically Alan Lazard. And that that's really all you need to know is that their one is Alan Lazard. Um, they might be deep at receiver, but they're not like top heavy. And I think Diggs is perfectly fine versus receivers that are not, you know, elite. I am pretty certain he can manage versus Alan Lazard and friends. Um, so I think Diggs can lock down his side. It's really just a matter of how well the secondary plays other than Diggs. Um, and how well the Packers, uh, the Cowboys pass rush can play. Um, yeah, I, I think the Packers are a good team. Uh, but I think here, I think the Cowboys can actually match the Packers and it might even just be better. Uh, strictly because I, like, I trust Aaron Rodgers to be able to play the game and play well. But the Cowboys are coming out of a bye week. Um, which I tend to value a lot more than I probably should, honestly, but I think it matters having an entire extra week of prep. You know, I, I think that's quite, it matters a lot. Like, especially going to a matchup that you are going to struggle in, um, as the Cowboys, they definitely need that extra bye week, but I think with that extra bye week, they're going to figure out something. Um, Yeah. That's about it. Um, I, I just trust the weapons from the Cowboys a lot more than I do the Packers here. Uh, week 11 versus the Vikings. Just an offensive matchup. Uh, Diggs is going to get cooked by both Adam Thielen and Justin Jefferson. but And hell, he might get burned by Jalen Rager now. But, I don't know. I, I think that... This is upset territory. <laughs> you know, I think that's like kind of a 50-50 game and no one's really talking about it. And honestly, I kind of like the Vikings here to win. The more I think about it. I don't know. The more I think about it, the more I like the Vikings to win. Just because I think what it... But no, I, I can't. I don't trust the Vikings defense enough. The secondary, specifically. Um, obviously, their front seven is pretty promising. But... <sighs> hmm. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Uh, I'll take the Cowboys still. Uh, they're coming off a big win versus the Packers. The Vikings are on a losing streak. Um, here, uh, it's going to be an offensive matchup, but I don't trust the, uh, the Vikings secondary enough yet. Um, if the Vikings secondary ends up showing improvement this year and they're actually, you know, okay unit, then I would probably pick the Vikings to win because I trust the Vikings offense more. I just don't trust the Vikings defense really at all. Um, their front seven is promising, but is Tyron Smith gone the whole... He is, right? He's gone the whole season? Until December slash at all. Cool. Um. Can you show me? Yeah, November. He won't be back. There's like no shot. Um. I think this is a doozy. And I think either team could win. But I don't trust... I, I think the Cowboys defense can make a play while the Vikings can't, really. That's my biggest issue. Uh, week 12 versus the Giants. I think the Giants are really bad. But... Hold on. Let me check, check one thing real quick. Like, What? I clicked on the Giants. Give me the Giants. Ah... 
was gonna see when their bye week was, but it's the same week as the Cowboys. I just don't know that I see the Cowboys losing. I the, I don't like the Giants, bro. I think they're so bad. Their defense bad. Their O line bad. Their receivers pretty bad for the most part. Their quarterback bad. They're running back injury prone. And even if he's healthy, he's not, you know, elite. He's just good. I just don't know that I see the Giants really winning many games, if any games at all. I just, I don't, I don't know if I see it. <laughs> I, I don't see the Cowboys losing this. I don't. I can't take the Cowboys to lose to the Giants. I think the Giants are way too bad, and that uh, Daniel Jones is very prone to getting absolutely killed because you know Michael Parsons is a thing. Um, how did the Cowboys Giants games go? Didn't the Giants win one of them? No, they did not. Yeah, they got kind of killed both. Oh wait, hold on. That was the year before that. Yeah. Yeah, they, they got kind of killed both times. This was a 24-point game. This was 15. <laughs> I, I just don't trust really much from the Giants to be able to win this. The Week 13 versus the Colts. Um, the Colts are a good team, but I like the Cowboys' weapons a lot more. I think I trust Dak to be a lot better than Matt Ryan, and I trust uh, CD and Michael Gallup to be much better than Michael Pittman and Alec Pierce, assuming Alec Pierce is the two. What? Who is there two? I I just kind of was automatically assumed it was Alec Pierce. No, it's Paris Campbell. I don't know who this is. Hmm. Ten receptions. Nice. Well, that's all I need. I need to know. Uh, I just trust the offense to be a lot more electric. I think that this game will be very good. But I trust the Cowboys that in crunch time, you know. I trust the Cowboys in crunch time a lot more than I trust the Colts. Um, the offense is just a lot better, I think. And while I think the run game from the Colts is going to keep them this game, I think Matt Ryan is going to have to make plays with Pittman. And, you know, I think when it comes down to it, I, I like CD and Gallup a lot more than, you know, Campo. Don't know who this guy is. And, um... Michael Pittman. Uh, 14 versus the Houston Texans. They're really bad. Week 15, week 15 versus the Jags. They're okay, but still much worse than the Cowboys. Week 16 versus the Eagles. I, I don't know why the Eagles would lose. I think they get a sweep. I think they sweep this division outright 6-0. and I don't see them losing any of these games. I, I just don't see it. I think they're better than everyone in their division. I think they're probably on paper one of the best teams in the league. But I'm not ready to have that conversation yet. Um, yeah, uh, I think the Eagles beat them there just because I think they're the better team on paper and probably in play. Uh, and that's really it. It's the same reason that they beat them in... Week six, they're just, the, I think on paper, they're a lot better team. This matchup's really hard because, you know, the Eagles aren't really weak anywhere, while the Cowboys are. The week 17 versus uh, the Titans. Henry's going to run for 6,000 yards. Um, this uh, Titans pass rush is pretty promising. The defense as a whole is pretty good. Uh, I, I kind of expect their defense to play better than their offense, even. Um, I don't think you have to rely on Ryan Tannehill for much. Um, I think that's when, you know, I think that's when you can, I, I think that's when the Titans will win games, when you don't have to rely on Ryan Tannehill that much, because here, 
the the Cowboys run game run defense probably isn't going to be that great. I mean, it's going to be fine, but it's not going to be great. Um, and Derrick Henry tends to you know farm, you know, bad run defenses. Um, I don't think you have to rely on Taylor Hill that much. And if you do, then you're probably fucked because he's throwing to Robert Woods and who was the other guy? It's the rookie. I know who it is. Oh, I got. I can think of his name though. Not Drake London. Traylon Burks. He's throwing to Burks and Robert Woods. Who? Robert Woods is still pretty good. Burks. I'm not that high on Burks, but I think he can be a fine, you know, slot receiver or just you know, kind of the X receiver. You know. Um, I know Robert Woods, but like, outside of the one and two, they don't really have much. But again, I don't think you have to rely on the passing game here. I think you can just run with Derrick Henry and he'll do perfectly fine. Um, is Devontae Foreman still there? Or Dante Foreman, that's my bad, that's my bad. No, I was thinking of the other guy. Wait, oh my god, just let me look at that chart. Well, whoever it was, they're not there. Um, who the fuck was I thinking of? Was it Devante Freeman? Maybe it was Freeman. Oh. Yeah, I didn't think it was him. So it was Dante. was this guy right no who am i thinking of no it was this guy okay i had the right guy no i had the right guy um yeah i had the right guy okay um but no he's still he's not there anymore so you're really just relying on henry but i'm pretty sure they could do that and win here especially because i think the the secondary at the times is pretty damn good which might make it tough um so you're gonna have to rely on the running game from the cowboys which i just like the titans more um, week 18 versus Washington. Um, you, I don't think you have a shot at the division because I'm pretty sure. Again, Eagles sweep the division, which means they get five more wins or four more wins. So they go 14 and three. I'll just go ahead and spoil that. Um, so you're not really competing for division. Um, I think Washington wants it more because they want to. They're shooting for. I don't know if they can really have a winning record, but I think they're shooting for it. No, nah, they're not gonna have one. Right, because they get two from there. I don't know. I'll figure it out when we get there. But I, I, I just think that you're on a losing streak. I think you end the season on a bad note. Uh, they did last year. They end the season on a bad note last year, if I recall correctly. Um, and I think the Viking, uh, Washington. Because I think the Washington's. I think Wash. God, I do not have a stutter. I swear. I think Washington is just gonna want this more, uh, and I think that's what's gonna get in the win here. I think just one in the game more. Um, and, and the Cowboys might rest starters, but I, I don't know if they will. But they, I guess they could, because in the way I have it, they're like pretty much guaranteed playoffs. Because the next closest is nine and eight Vikings, and in the world I have it is the eight and eight Vikings, and they're eleven and five. So uh, the Cowboys are eleven and five. So yeah, they don't really have a shot. Like they're, they're not playing for anything, while the Vikings are kind of... And the Washington are still, you know, still playing their starters. Who? So I think they'll do fine. Um, so yeah, 11-6, going 3-3 three three in division. Uh, the resting starters versus Washington, so who the fuck cares? Um, well, the Eagles. Um, I am extremely, extremely, extremely high on the Eagles. Um... I think the Eagles are going to be... I, I've been thinking about this recently, and I'm going to finally put this out there. I think the Eagles are going to be very similar to that 2019 Ravens team. Even on how they play, by the way. Like, basically on every aspect of the game, they're going to be very similar to that team. In terms of, you know, a defense playing really well. Um, and not really having too much of a weakness. Uh, in terms of the run game, just 
you have a mobile quarterback that they're going to design plays with uh, who's still a questionable passer, but he's going to show why he's not a questionable passer. Uh, I think their situation is very similar. Um, Hurts has something to prove. Lamar has something to prove. And I, I think a lot is going in favor of the Eagles in terms of the regular season. We'll get into the playoff picture when we get there, but uh, I'll just go ahead and say it. I think the Eagles went out in division and sweep the division quite easily. Um, they gonna quit? They do it. Ah, uh, come on, click it, click it. Things being slow. Okay, there we go. Um, week one versus the Lions. Um, I don't think the Lions can keep up. I don't think I trust Garrett Jared Goff to keep up. Um, and that secondary from the Lions isn't really that great either. Um, I never really looked at it versus winning. It's just a cool stat. That's about it. It's just a cool stat. Look at versus winning. Anyway, um... Yeah, week one versus the uh, Lions. I just, I, I just don't see them losing. Um, I think the Eagles are the more complete team, and I'm going to be saying that a lot because the Eagles are, they might be the most complete team in the league, even. Um, I, I, I yeah, I, I trust Jalen Hurts with his weapons a little bit more than I trust you know Goff with his weapons, especially on top of having a defense that's probably going to be top ten at worst in terms of the Eagles. Um, week two versus the Vikings is the same shit, except uh, Kirk can actually upset him here. Um, I think here it's gonna be a situation where it's a matter of your defense is trash. I I do not think this defense for the Vikings is gonna be very good. I don't like their secondary at all. So I think Hurts is gonna throw for like 300 yards and then you run rush for you know maybe 75 more, 75 100 more. Um. I just like, I don't trust the Vikings secondary enough to say that, hey, they can win. Uh, they can win, but I think the Eagles actually have, you know, good enough secondary to be able to actually cover. I, I Okay, the Eagles are weak at uh, safety, if I recall correctly, because I literally can't name their safeties right off the top of my head. But in terms of their whole secondary, it's fine. Um... Again, this is a pretty easy schedule for the Eagles. That's why I think they're going 14-3. and Because I think their schedule is pretty favoring. Um, yeah. But anyway. Uh, I, I just trust the Eagles secondary to actually make plays. While I don't trust the Vikings secondary to make plays. Week 3 versus Washington. It's fucking Carson Wentz with only Terry McLaurin as weapon. Really. I don't trust Curtis Samuel and... Uh, who's there? Jahan Dotson. I don't trust those guys, really. I don't like Jahan Dotson. Um, and Curtis Samuel's fine, but the fact that you're relying on Curtis Samuel is a problem in itself. Um, yeah, I, I just, I, I like the Eagles' weapons more as a whole. I like their quarterback more. I like their O-line more. I like their defense a lot more, too. I, I just like the Eagles a lot more in pretty much every aspect of the game. Week 4 versus the Jaguars, it's the same shit I'm saying for every one of these matches. I just trust their their team a lot more. Um, we're not really into the matchups. Again, these are all... None of these teams are in the playoffs yet. Not They have not played a playoff team yet. Their first playoff team comes in Week 6. So, I think they go into the, the Week 6 5-0 and because they're not playing a play, good team. I mean, the Vikings are, you know, a winning record. And, you know... Good for you. <laughs> They're not in the playoffs. Um, I, I I don't know. I just like... I don't know. That's all I got. I do not know. Um, yeah. Week 5. I, uh, I don't say the Eagles, but... The Cardinals just uh, aren't very good either defensively. I, I think that Hurts is going to work very well versus bad defenses. And I think he's going to absolute farm fuck out of bad defenses. Um, 
So that makes that match pretty easily. You know, easy. Uh, week six, finally first playoff team. In terms of you know, playoff teams, they play, in terms of my bracket, they play one, two, three, four. They play five games versus playoff teams. Five games versus playoff teams. That's insane. Again, very favorable schedule. That's also why I have uh, the Cowboys, you know. That's also why I have the Cowboys, you know, doing fine. Because their schedule is pretty favorable. And, you know, they're 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 losing to a lot of... They play a lot of playoff teams, actually. You know, well, not really. They play, like, what, six games? One, two, three, four, five... Six. They play six playoff teams. Yeah. It's not a coincidence they have six losses. So I'm gonna say, oh wait, seven. What am I talking about? Um, yeah, they play seven playoff teams. And I think they're a team built to upset. But anyway, what about the Eagles? Very favorable division. Uh, what? Uh, but then week six, you get into the um the Cowboys game. Can you go to the right spot? Thank you. Uh, week six, you play your first good team in the Cowboys. Um, I think you're hot after a five and zero start. Um, I think you're at home. You're at home with a hot spot with a hot streak. Um, like, and, and I just don't trust the Cowboys secondary as a whole to be able to cover. You know, the Eagles. D deep guys, you know, Quez Watkins, uh, AJ Brown, uh, Devontae Smith. I don't think you can cover that many guys. You're not very deep as corner. You're not really great as secondary, uh, like safety. Like, I, I just don't trust the secondary to be able to cover well enough. Um, and I like the Eagles offense more because I think the only promising pieces on this Cowboys defense are like, you know, three or four guys. There's 11 guys on the field, and I trust three of four of them, you know. Uh, it's just, that's the full story. I just think the Eagles, as previously mentioned, are the more complete team. Um, week 7, you get a bye week. And then week 8, you face the Steelers. Uh, the Steelers are pretty good at upsetting teams, but not after a bye week. And not when they're on a 6-0 and start. Um, not when they're a 6-0 start. And coming out of a bye week, uh... The, uh, he might struggle versus a pretty good defense because it's the best defense he's faced yet. And really one of the few good defenses he's facing this season. But, um, yeah, uh, again, uh, they don't play many good defenses. They, In terms of good defenses, you play the Saints, the Packers, the Titans, and the Steelers. That's four good defenses. All I'm going to say, all I'm going to say, I think the Eagles are good. Uh, I think the Steelers are going to be a little bit subpar. I think they're going to win the game. Yeah, it's the Texans. They're going to beat the Texans. Uh, it's Washington. Washington's, you know, decent, but I don't trust Carson Wentz versus, you know, playmakers on defense. Uh, especially with this not the greatest O-line. Uh, that front seven's good. I think the Eagles O-line's good. I think Hurst is mobile. That's not a hot take or anything. And I don't trust the secondary of Washington enough. Uh, the week 11, you get uh, the best team you face yet. And, you know, like, this is like the first team that can actually, you know, is on paper, like, as good as you. And week 11, that's your first, you know, really good team. Like, that's crazy. Their schedule is so favorable. Um, yeah, it's the best team you face yet. Um, but you're on a 10 0 start, or 9 0 start, I think. Yeah, 9 0 start. Um, and I just trust Hertz's, you know, youth a lot more than I trust Matt Ryan. Um, I don't think Matt Ryan quite has the weapons, you know, to be a, con a Super Bowl contender. Um,. I don't think Matt Ryan has the weapons, you know, to be able to match good secondaries. Uh, I don't think 
I think, uh, especially when the Eagles' run defense is also good. Uh, so John Ta- Jonathan Taylor will still run for a lot, but he's not going to run for, you know, as much as he would versus the Texans or you know, the Jaguars. He's not going to run for as much. So I think that's going to be really um, unfavorable for them. Uh, and it's going to be tough for the Colts just because you, you really need your defense to make plays, which they can. Um, you have the defense to do it. I think it's going to be a very good defensive game more than offensively. Um, but I think just because I think the Eagles offense is still going to be better than the, the Colts. I'm going to take the Eagles. And then finally, after a 10-0 start from the Eagles, they finally face, you know, an elite team in the Packers. And they finally fucking lose. Um, yeah, I, I like the defense. It's just kind of the similar situation with the Colts, except this Packers defense is, you know, scary. I mean, so is the Colts. But except the Packers offense has Aaron Rodgers. You know, and while I was talking about how Jalen Hurts has the youth and, you know, Matt Ryan is older, so so is Aaron Rodgers, but it's also fucking Aaron Rodgers. One's, you know, a top five quarterback of all time, and one's, you know, top 30, top 40, probably. There's just a big difference between, you know, Aaron Rodgers and Matt Ryan, currently, at least. You know, there's a big difference between that. Uh... One's, you know, a first ballot Hall of Fame, and one might not even make the Hall of Fame. Um, I, I, it's just a big difference. And while it's like the same, t- it's like, actually, they're very similar teams, because it's like, good quarterback, but lack of weapons, but a good run game, with a really good defense. With a good O-line, too, by the way. But, like, very similar, but, um, I, I think here, it's just you know, a matter of, it's Aaron Rodgers. And he can win these games, and he will win these games. Um. Yeah. Mm. Oh yeah, and I forgot he already lost two in a row, and he's not gonna lose three in a row, right? That's what you would think. Um. Yeah, I just think that versus you know teams like that, it's gonna be harder. But I think it's still gonna be a good game. It's gonna be like. It was a good comparison. Probably that Washington Saints, or not Saints, the Washington Bucks game. Yeah, not last year, but the year before that, in the playoffs. I'm pretty similar to that, I think. Or the underdog. Not really the underdog story, actually. I guess the Eagles, were te- they're, they're 10 or 0 at this point. They're definitely favored. But, you know, young mobile quarterback versus veteran guy to be similar to that except the Eagles are better <laughs> it's really everywhere um but Aaron Rodgers that's really the best I got week 13 versus the Titans I think the Titans also upset or like like the other ones like kind of an upset but not really this is the Titans you know they're not even a playoff team but they're gonna get the upset here I think here um I think I think you don't have to really, I think it's a very similar situation to the Titans um Cowboys game. Or no. Well, yeah, 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 the Titans Cowboys game. Where you really don't have to rely on Tannehill much. I think you can just give the ball to Derrick Henry. He can run for, you know, hundred and fifty yards and we need the game in himself. Uh you can rely on Tannehill when you have to. Um I, and like, I was thinking. It's, I also think the Eagles get out coached here versus the Packers, but so I was just thinking of Fravel here and how he might also out coach the Eagles. But yeah, maybe. <laughs> um, I just think after losing your first game, it's gonna be sober to the Cardinals. Uh, how they dropped their first game and suddenly they look worse. Except the difference here is that after you know. After you drop two games in a row, you get the Giants and Bears. So, it gets a lot easier for you. Um, the, uh, the Giants might not win a game. The Bears could also not win a game. They probably will, but they also could just not. Wouldn't be surprised. 
Yeah, I, I just think that the situation favors the Titans a little bit just because the Eagles finally dropped a game. Um, the Titans are fighting for a playoff spot, and I think that bye week... No, the bye week is early. I, th I thought they had their bye week, like, late. So, that was a different team, though. But, yeah, I think um, the Titans pull off the upset here just because I, I think here hurts my struggle. You know, he, he just struggled versus the Packers secondary. He's going to struggle again versus another good secondary. Um, but then he gets shit together in week 14 versus the Giants because it's the fucking Giants. And then he gets to farm the Chicago Bears as well. The week 16 versus the, uh, the Cowboys. Um, I, I just think that there's no reason the Eagles should be losing versus teams like the Cowboys where they actually have a glaring weakness. Um a noticeable and very important glary weakness. Like, the difference here is that the Titans, their weakness is, like, quarterback, but he's still a fine quarterback. He can still get the job done. Uh, but their run game's also going to, like, solve that. The Packers, their quarterback is Aaron fucking Rodgers. And, I, yeah, your receivers are worse, but still, I don't think it matters. Here, it's your O-line that this Eagles front seven will do very well versus, um, and your defense could be sub pretty subpar. Um, also worth noting. So, I think Hurts doesn't really play many good defenses. And this is just another game versus a pretty <coughs> subpar defense. I think versus the, versus the better defenses, he's going to struggle. Um, it's just a matter of can your offense also keep up and actually make plays off of the defensive mess-ups, or the defensive plays. And... That's why I think the Packers can, because the def Packers definitely can. And the Titans can also do that. Uh, I haven't losing to the Saints, because I think the Saints can also do that. I also think the Saints, they're also, like, I think there are, like, three teams that are just complete. That you're not really weak anywhere. Um, where there is other reasons why you would not win the Super Bowl. Well, there's, like, four teams. I think it's the Bills, the Eagles, the Saints, and the Broncos. They don't, none of them really have a glaring weakness anywhere. The only one might be the Broncos, like, O-line. Which isn't exactly great, but it's a fine O-line. Um, and Russ is going to make it look better than it really is. I think it's like those four teams. But, there's a reason three of those teams are 12-5 and five or better. One of them being the number one seed. Two of them being the number one seed. Um. I I just like um. I, it's a divisional game, so yeah, the Titan uh, the Cowboys could win, but I just think the Eagles are a more complete team. As a whole, I think as long as there's no injuries, no big injuries, there's obviously going to be injuries. Everyone's going to hit the injury bug. But I think the Cowboys are more prone to that than the Eagles are, honestly. Um, yeah, I just think that they're the more complete team. The Week 17 versus the Saints. Uh, you know, another team that is not really too weak anywhere. The only questionable thing might be their quarterback, but as long as their quarterback plays well, and like he did last year... Then, well, I think you're not really weak anywhere. Good O-line, good receivers, good defense. Really good defense, actually. Uh, you might have the defense, best defense in the league. Probably not, but you could. Uh, you have, like, a top two secondary behind only, like, the Bills or the Packers. And at worst, you have a top five secondary. And even in the defense as a whole, top five defense, you know. Um... Again, I think Hurts is just going to struggle versus the better defenses. Um, but the thing is, he doesn't play that many good defenses. He plays the Packers, who is probably going to be top five. He plays the Saints, who's going to be top five. Uh, he plays the Steelers, who are probably going to be, you know, top ten-ish. Assuming they play to their talent level. Um, I mean, they really underformed their talent level last year. But assuming they play to their talent level, it's probably about top ten. You know, the Titans, who are going to be top ten defense. The Colts, top 10. You know, it's just like... there's, But the reason they beat the Colts is just because of offensive problems from the Colts. Um, the reason they beat the Steelers, offensive problems. Here, 
Uh, but the reason they lost versus the Packers and Titans is because they don't really have the offensive problems. And that's why they you know that's why they lose to the Saints here, is because they don't have the Saints also do not have the offensive problems. Um they have the weapons, they have the run game. Like, it's just two complete teams going at it, except I trust the Saints a little bit more because uh Jameis' experience and Hertz's, you know, struggle versus better defenses. Or just the Eagles struggle as a whole versus better defenses. Um Yeah, that's about it. The Week eighteen. You're shooting for the number one seed. And it's the Giants. So you could probably play your backups or some of the backups and still win the game. Uh you have the division on lock, but you're also shooting for the number one seed, so you can have the round one bye. So you're gonna win the game. Um Alright. <sighs> On two, on two, on two. Who else? Um, Washington. I I can't click on Washington. There we go. I clicked on Washington. Um, I think Washington's pretty okay. Um, hold on. There we go. I think Washington is pretty okay. I don't think they're a great team, but I think that they're probably above average. I mean, it depends on what your average is. Okay, if your average is, you know. 50, uh, 500, then they're not above average then, but I'll just go ahead and pick their last two games and then explain them after. Um, damn, I really just put the Giants going 0-17. That's crazy. It's really hard to go 0-17, but uh, I think the Washington Commanders are very favored because, A, uh, you have an inconsistent quarterback, but the thing with inconsistent quarterbacks is that sometimes they're good. Um... I had my mic really close. I don't know how loud I was. But I think with the inconsistent quarterbacks is sometimes they're good. Carson Wentz is the same way. Is that sometimes he's going to be fine. Um, it's just that other times he's going to look really bad. And it's going to show. Um, and ultimately the Washington Commanders could have like a top 15 defense. It was really bad last year. But Chase Young also was not there. And like other guys also weren't there. And, like, maybe it improves. Uh, if their defense is, like, on a top 10 level, they could probably sneak into the playoffs. They probably won't, given that the top teams are just pretty much locks for playoffs. But, maybe. Um, yeah, I mean, the commanders are decent on paper. They have, you know, okay weapons. They have an okay one game, run game. Their O-line's okay. Their quarterback's meh. But played okay last year. And everything about them is okay. And their record of 8-9 shows that they're okay. Um, but their coaching is pretty bad. Or not bad. But not very promising. How about that? Big 1 versus uh, the Jaguars. I think this is probably an upset. To, actually, no. Probably the Jaguars are probably uh, favored here. But um, I think that... I Has Wentz played any this preseason? He did. He did. He played versus the Chiefs a little bit. Yeah, he played some here too. Okay, so he has. I th I was wondering because I was like, if he hasn't played any, then he probably is going to be bad, because I know Trevor Lawrence actually did play. Um. Yeah, I I think that I I like I like the Jaguars a little bit. Not great. They're not going to be great, but they're going to be okay. Um. Yeah. That's about it. <laughs> They're going to be okay. But both of these teams are kind of okay teams. So it's going to be a good game, but not for the right reasons. Like, you know, it's just, they're both not great. But also, like, it's not going to be a blowout just because neither team's that great. But neither team's also that bad. Uh, it's going to be close, but I like the attributes of Trevor Lawrence a lot more than I like the attributes of Carson Wentz. And that's about it. That's the only reason, because it's a quarterback play. I trust Lawrence a lot more than I trust Carson Wentz at this stage in the career, even though Lawrence was not that good last year. Um, Wentz is just... He like he was on the Colts last year, and he couldn't even lead that team to a playoff. The playoffs. And you expect him to go to a worse team and play well? Hell no. 
And they lost to the Jaguars last year in the final game. So, you know, can he beat them here? It's like kind of a revenge game. In a sense. Kind of. I don't know. I, I just don't like the uh, Commanders here to actually, you know, be able to handle the Jags offense. I think the Jags offense is actually going to be above average. It's going to be above, you know, you know, probably in that top 15-ish range. Um, I think we two versus the Lions. Um, I think here it's going to be a situation like neither. It's like the same shit as Week One, <laughs> where neither team's that great. But here it's like. Jared, it's like two mid quarterbacks going. Not even mid, they're both ass. But here, I just like the defense a little bit more from the Commanders. I like uh, the O line. Uh, I mean, it's not better, but I like the O line. Uh, pass rush matchup. Uh, Chase Young coming back week one. I gotta Google that. First four games. Hold on. Let me let me check this. Let me. Okay, Chase Young is out. Out. If Jay Jones is not playing, then I think they uh, actually lose to. <laughs> Week 5 against the Titans. That's really interesting. So I don't know if they win this game, actually. I, I, I like the Lions here, maybe. Maybe. Let me think about it a little bit. I think I like the Lions, then. Just because I think the pass rush is not good enough to actually, you know, make Jared Goff make plays so he actually has time in the pocket uh which tends to favor him because while he's not a you know physically gifted quarterback or anything special really um he still knows what the fuck he's doing and like if he has time he can still make good reads and you know shit like that um yeah i i don't know i think I think I like the Lions then. Without Chase Young, I don't think they actually have the pressure to actually force him to make bad calls and plays. Not calls. Uh, to make to play bad. I don't think they can force Jared Goff to play bad, basically, is what I'm saying. Um, and especially versus secondary that's not really that good, I think Jared Goff actually has a good game. I think they're, they're you know, nailing the coffin was Chase Young not playing because Chase Young is probably very good. Uh, but he's not even going to be back, so here we are. Week 3 versus the Eagles, just a much better team. Week 4 versus the Cowboys, just a much better team. Week 5 versus the Titans, just a much better team. The Week 6, they win because, ironically enough, because they're the much better team. The Bears are just ass. Week 7 versus the Packers, the Packers are just a much better team. Week 8 versus the Colts. Colts are just a much better team. Week nine, I actually have them upsetting the Vikings. Um, like they're they've won one game at this point. They're one and seven. They're I don't even know if Carson Wentz is gonna be playing at this point. Um, I think the situation here is that the Vikings are very prone to losing to teams they probably shouldn't. I mean, they lost to the fucking zero and ten Lions or the zero ten and one Lions last year. You're telling me they can't lose again? Uh, granted, maybe it was due to coaching last year, but, like, coaching can only take you so far. Um, I think the Vikings are very prone to losing games versus teams they shouldn't, and I think this is just another example of that. Um, I think the defense is bad as long as you, do, as like, if you do not have the secondary to force Carson Wentz to, you know, 
play bad, then you'll never guess what I'm going to say. That then Carson Wentz is going to play good. If he's not forced to play bad, he's going to play good. I know that sounds dumb, but that's just genuinely how it's going to work. Um, he's being quiet. Um, I, I think he can play fine versus, you know, teams like the Vikings. <laughs> um, but nonetheless, uh, I just think it's a it's a matchup where Carson Wentz is not forced to play bad, so he's not going to. And I think he's going to play fine. Um, and they pull off, you know, an upset after winning one game in their first eight. And the Week 10 versus the Eagles. The Eagles are just a much better team. Week 11. Uh, they have a good stretch of week 11, 12, 13, where they face three bad teams in a row. Um, that's good for them, I guess. Uh, Texans, Falcons, Giants. Uh, these teams could together could genuinely win zero games. Unless they play each other. I don't know if they play each other or not. Um, like, these teams could have a combined record of like six and... But uh, in terms of my predictions, they have a combined record of four and let's see, thirty plus seven, forty-seven. Four and forty-seven. Needless to say, that is not very promising. So that's good for the uh, Washington. They get a few wins, pretty much free wins. Um, I can see the Eagles winning. And maybe if Derek Stingley is, like, really good, then the, the Texans could win. But, I mean, the Giants are really bad. They go into the bye week. Week 15, they get the Giants. The Giants are really bad. Week 16 versus the 49ers. The 49ers are way too good. Um, Week 17 versus the Browns. This is the Sean Watson Browns. Um, I think Watson's going to play fine now. He's going to be back for a few weeks. The defense from the Washington Commanders aren't very good. He's trying to push for a playoff push, but, like, not really. I used to, yeah, my prediction is I have him, but, you know. Where was I at? Um, if he's in playoff push, he's going to push for the playoffs. Oh, my God, why is it taking so long? I just want to go to the fucking Commanders. I'm going to reload the page. Um, yeah, I, I understand this. I gotta reopen this page. Um, they don't change my shit. They change my shit. Oh, it's not that bad. I just gotta fix the Eagles games. But yeah, I, I just think that... No, they're supposed to have... Wait. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we're loading in, right? Okay, everything's fixed. Um, I, I just... My issue here is that... And week 17, the Browns are a good team with Deshaun. If they had Deshaun the full season, they'd probably make the playoffs. But unfortunately, they don't. So, here we are. The week 18, Cowboys aren't playing their starters. Uh, they have nothing to fight for. They're already pretty much locked for playoffs, unless something crazy happens. Um, if they're playing starters, then the Cowboys... Actually, no, Washington could still win, even if they're playing starters. But, it's unlikely. Uh, they're resting starters, though. There's... Yeah, they're rushing starters and everything, so who cares? But they end seven and ten. Not a bad record. Not a good record though. Um, their coach probably gets fired and free him. Um, oh, and then the New York Giants. Okay. So people are kinda hyping not hyping this team up, but I'm not gonna pause my fucking music for this. Okay, okay. Look. I know Brian Day will quote unquote saved and fixed Josh Allen. I'm sorry, but there is no fucking way you're fixing Daniel Jones. This guy is ass, okay? Just understand this. The guy is ass. Just accept it. The guy is really bad. They're drafting a quarterback next year, and Brian Dable could fix that guy. He's not fixing Daniel Jones. And outside of Daniel Jones, even if Daniel Jones is so fucking good... And not even so. He, there's no shot. No one thinks he's going to be so fucking good. He just think they can fix him to an extent and make him, you know, better. But I think even if you fix this guy and make him better, there's no talent here. The O-line, bad. The quarterback, bad. Receivers, bad for the most part. 
Canary's tone is promising. Kenny Galladay doesn't look like he gives a fuck. The defense, bad. There's nothing promising about this Giants team. There is genuinely not one thing favorable for this team minus Saquon. And that's if Saquon can stay healthy. If he's not healthy, if he doesn't play the full season, then who the fuck is going to... How are they going to win games? I understand how hard it is to go 0-17, but this team doesn't have any talent. There's just not enough talent versus... Especially since schedule is actually like, you know, decently hard. Ironically enough, I did not click on that. Uh, they play a lot of good teams. Like In terms of teams above 500, they play 9. Because it says 9 versus winning. Um, in terms of teams in the playoffs... Play one, two, three. Uh, Ravens probably should be, but four, five. You know, the Ravens and Titans on the cusp. Which, granted, I wasn't counting them for other ones, so I'm not going to count them for him. But, you know, like, they just play better teams as a whole. They're not, they're not, the problem is they're worse and they're playing better teams in terms of the NFC East. Like, the Eagles kind of had a free schedule for the most part. They're pretty much a playoff lock just because their schedule is pretty fucking easy. Um, like, they're not, the Giants don't have a, a hard schedule, but it's definitely not easy for them just because the fucking Giants. Week one versus Tennessee. Uh, Derrick Henry's going to storm them. Uh, it's going to be a blowout. Week two versus uh, the Panthers. The Panthers' defense is way too good. Um, CMC is still going to be healthy. Uh, Baker's going to be playing fine because, you know, it's a piss poor defense. Everything's going to work out. Week three versus the Cowboys. Cowboys are just significantly better. Week four versus the Bears. Um, the only reason I picked the Bears over them is because I trust Fields to improve. Um, and the Bears could at least, you know, their defense could be okay. That's about it. The Bears defense could at least be okay. Like, there we go. Week five versus the Packers. I don't have to explain that. Week six versus the Ravens. Don't have to explain that. Week seven versus the Jags. The Jags are an okay team. Their quarterback's better. Uh, their run game's probably better as a whole. Um, their receivers, better. Tight end, better. Their defense, probably better. I don't really know. Neither big defense is really promising. Week 8 versus the Seahawks. Um, uh, I think the Seahawks, in terms of, like, the bottom bottom, are, like, the best of them. I'm talking, like, Jets, uh, Texans, Falcons, Bears, Giants, and Seahawks. I think the Seahawks are the best out of all of them. Um, and they're still sitting at 2-15, just because I, I, their quarterback play is really bad. And they have the talent, but their defense is also bad. And you really have to rely on a run game that's probably going to be way too inconsistent. Um, it's because, you know, Rashad Penny, you don't know how good he's going to be for a full season. Uh, Kenneth, God, Kenneth Walker, I meant. Um, don't know how he's going to play as a rookie, but he's promising. Um, week eight, they play Seahawks and they're gonna lose. Uh, you know, bye week and week nine, week ten. Here, here's where they could win their game. They could win a game versus the Texans. I know that's such a big win. Um, I think here just the situation is. Uh, I like the Texans a little bit more. They at least have some playmakers. Like, let's look at this Giants roster and look at their good players. They're just, they're just not there. Their wide receiver one is Kenny, Kenny Galladay. Their wide receiver three is Sterling Shepard. Who's, who's not good. None of their guys are good. I mean, good God, bro. Good God. Good God. I want you to acknowledge that their receivers, as a total, they combine... Like they're one, two, and three combined for barely over a thousand yards. Right, it's like a thousand twenty, two hundred. It's like twelve hundred. That's not good. Needless to say, that is not good. Um. Tight end. I I don't know who this guy is. He's a rookie. Oh, is this like that freakish? No, that's not the freakish tight end. That's a different guy. 
Um, the O-line might be okay. It's really just preying on some development features. If Andrew Thomas can develop, if Evan Neal's good immediately. You know, if you're... I really don't know these other... I don't know online guys, really. I don't keep track of them. Look at the defense. Why does it say D? What does that mean? It's a fucking D. What does a D mean? What does it say? What the hell is a D? Tell me... Doubtful. Oh, that makes sense. Um... Yeah, I, I look at this. Who is good here? <laughs> Nobody. Everything is so bad. Everything is so bad, bro. Just there's nothing really promising. Well, the Texans at least their quarterback plays well enough. Um, Damian Pierce is a pretty promising guy. Um, they at least you know have uh, Brandon Cooks. You know, at least they have a good wide receiver one. Um, their defense has some playmakers. Not really good playmakers, but enough. Like, ah, there's just nothing promising. Lions are just, you know, just a better team. I know I'm saying that about the Lions, but... Uh, honestly, probably better quarterback play. Probably not a better run game. Better O-line, better receivers, better defense. Papa John's. Um... Yeah, I mean, that's it. Uh, week 12 versus the Cowboys, just the better team. Week 13, it's the same reason the Washington won before. They're going to win again. Um, week 14, they play the Eagles. It's going to be a blowout. Week 15, the uh, Washington's coming out of a bye week. Man, they're a bad team. Week 16 versus the Vikings, too, too electric of an offense. Week 17 versus the Colts, too good of a defense. Week 18, too good of a team. Like, there's... I don't... They could... Okay, their peak. If they win versus every bad team, they get three wins. That is their peak. But unfortunately, I don't think they're beating any of the bad teams. Um, Ultimately, at least the Seahawks have playmakers. Um, Texans, at least they have... Playmakers on defense, well, they don't, and their quarterback play is just at least consistent. As of last year, he was consistent. Um, at least the Bears, you know, are probably going to improve, and they have, you know, a good quarterback wide receiver connection in Darnell Mooney, Justin Fields. That's it. I think the Giants are horrible and by far the worst team in the league. I, I there's nothing promising about them other than the only thing promising is their coach. Brian Dable coming from the Bills and fixing Josh Allen. That's if you want to say he fixed Josh Allen. Which, granted, he probably did. But can he fix Daniel Jones? I think there is no fixing Daniel Jones. I think he's still ass. He's going to be ass no matter what. I don't care how good of a coach you are. If you're the greatest coach ever, if you're Bill Belichick, you know, yeah, I think you could make this team, you know, get three wins. And that's if you win versus every team that is very, very bad. And the likelihood of that is low. Uh, but anyway, I finished my predictions. Um, only things I like in terms of things like looking at it, what I don't know, uh, if it's gonna be right. Uh, I'm pretty certain the Bills are gonna be the number one seed over here. I think all oh, this is all right. I think this is the questionable area. It's a matter of how well the Browns play without, like the AFC North is really questionable. How well is their the Seagulls quarterback play going to match uh, B? And even if they play well, are they going to play well enough to compete with the AFC elites? Hell no. Probably not. We don't know. Is it, and if their defense going to be good? We don't know. It was pretty bad last year. Ravens, how are they going to be? No one fucking knows. Bengals, are they going to dominate after having a pretty good last year? Don't know. Browns, how are they going to play without Deshaun? And how are they going to play after Deshaun? No one knows. Who's going to win the AFC West? No one knows. And they, they see 
south. I mean, there's two good teams, two bad teams. And we kind of know how good the Colts are probably going to be. But even then, I'm still saying probably. Um, I think the NFC is pretty easy to make. Because I think there's like five teams that are nearly a playoff lock. And that is uh, the Eagles, Rams, 49ers, Bucks, Packers. I think those guys are pretty much playoff locks. They are a 100% chance of making the playoffs. Um, it's really down to those final two spots between the Cowboys, uh, Saints, and Vikings. And maybe the Panthers or Lions could sneak in. But... In terms of the AFC, eh? AFC, there's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, honestly. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 teams that could be in the playoffs. Well, over here, you got like 9. Like, I don't know. Um, we'll see. Uh, I, I was going to do playoff predictions, but there's already an hour and 20 minutes. We'll look at the playoff, you know. Where's the bracket at? Where's the playoff bracket at? How do I see this? Uh, I guess it's going to be here. Wild card. So this is my playoff seedings. Um, you can't see them all, actually. Hold on. You could almost see them all, but the display capture. Okay, this should work. I hope it works. Anyway, yeah, you see? As my seedings, um, I could do them real quick, but I kind of want to go more in depth than, you know, I just kind of want to go more in depth. Like, this is probably going to be like a 30 minute playoff prediction thing. I don't know. We'll see. Um, yeah. Hmm. It's going to be really, all of these matchups are so good, dude. We'll get to them when we get there. Uh, I see I go up today because... Or I guess you can go up tomorrow, technically. Because... I see I go put it up before 1 o'clock when all the games start. I'm going to be watching like pretty much all the games. I at least have them on. I mean, I'm going to watch the Steelers game primarily. Because, you know... Why the fuck would I not watch the Steelers game? Um... Damn, these, this playoffs this year going to be real good. Pretty much, I think after the first round, they're going to be even better. But, we'll see. Um, like The round one matchups last year were kind of lame, for the most part. Oh, they weren't lame, but, like, the Bucks were obviously going to beat the Eagles. Saints, uh... Oh, not Saints. Um, fuck, I meant, uh... Who was I talking about? The, the Cardinals game. They got destroyed by the Rams. Everyone expected that for the most part. The Packers were the one seed, I think, right? <laughs> I don't remember. Um, Cowboys 49ers was good. In terms of AFC. The Bills blew out the Patriots. Um, Bengals Raiders was good. But, like, yeah, it, it actually just, there was no but. It was just good. Um... Then Steelers got blown out by the Chiefs. Uh, Titans are the one seed. What was it the last game? I don't remember the last game. Did I name three? I named the, that one. Oh, no, I named it all. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the round one matchups last year weren't very good. They were just a lot of blowouts and, like, a one good game on each side. So, I don't know. Even those good games were like kind of bad at the end, <laughs> honestly, in terms of the Cowboys 49ers. But nonetheless, um, let's probably go up today, as in Saturday. I might put it up tomorrow, as in Sunday, right before week one starts. I just gotta have them up before. I'd rather do, I'd probably put them up today, but you'll see them when you see them. <laughs> Whatever, playoff predictions be coming up. Probably the day after I put these up, honestly. But we'll see. See you guys whenever that is.